Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the last of the Power Rangers Legacy Collection, the Psycho Red and Blue Rangers. Uh, this will most likely be the last time I review something Power Rangers related. And it has this tiny little logo here in the corner. Um, yeah, this is it. This is the swan song, <laughs> as it were, for Bandai America. As we already know, not getting the Psycho Girls, that's already been confirmed. It was highly suspected for a while, but it was confirmed quite a while ago. Um, but these were the last two I needed. I was waiting for my pre-orders to come in at GameStop. They just did. While I was there, I was sure to put $5 down on the Lightning Collection Goldar that's coming from Hasbro later this year. Very excited for that. That thing looks beautiful. But let's go ahead and take a look at these last figures from Bandai. I have to say, I mean, first impressions right off the bat, I think they look fairly good. Uh, black was pretty good, uh, but I think these pop even more because it's a different color contrasted against the black, where black was just black on black. This is red and blue, so a little bit more colorful, a little bit more vibrant. Uh, but packaging is, I would say, almost exactly the same. I mean, in the black and white lightning bolt, they look identical. <laughs> the head's slightly turned to the side so you can tell them apart. Uh, looking at the back, nice picture here on the back of the figure because there are no Build-A-Figure pieces, so there's no like larger Megazord to show off. And then it just shows red, blue, and of course Dino Thunder White, which I have already reviewed. Taking a look at the back of this one, again, nice picture and just showing off the other ones. So let's go ahead, we'll get these two out of the packaging here and we'll take a closer look. Here they are out of the packaging and like I said, right off the bat I have to say, I think they look good. I really do think they look good. Uh, detailing, you know, the molding, the paint apps all look pretty good. I actually feel like these have more paint applications than we're used to getting. I think that is in large part due to the fact that there's no Build-A-Figure Megazord piece. But again, red all looks sharp, belt buckles painted, you have nice white everywhere. The accessory that he comes with, fairly basic, but looks good, and it is painted on both sides, so that's nice. His ab crunch is a little loose, but not terrible. Honestly, his legs are looser than anything else. Um, you could probably fix that. But he's got the standard articulation we're used to. Head can go up and down, as well as side to side. Typical shoulder joints. I guess it's limited a little bit by the kind of shoulder piece, but really not that big a deal. Bicep swivel, double elbows as per usual. You have that kind of uh, what I call figure art wrist piece where it has the swivel but also has the ball joint for the hand. You do have the ab crunch. His is not, like I said, not too bad. It's a little tight but not super tight. Um, you have a waist swivel as well. You have kick out to the side, kick out to the front. He's got a little bit of a butt skirt, so not too far to the back. Thigh swivel, double knee joint, and then you have the same kind of joint in the ankle as the wrist. You can go up and down, side to side. Uh, but like I said, you can see the legs are just really kind of, especially uh, his left leg, very loose, which is just kind of a bummer. I think he'll still stand. I don't think he's going to have a problem standing. Just have to keep an eye on it. And then we have blue, blue being my favorite color. Uh, I'm kind of biased towards this guy. I do like the shade of blue. A lot of people have been saying they think it should be a darker blue, but I actually kind of like this color blue. Just personal bias. Uh, I'm not even saying it's screen accurate to the show. I'm <laughs> just saying I like the color blue. Uh, again, Axe, nicely detailed, painted on both sides. So I appreciate that. Nice silver blue, black paint there. And then yeah, he his uh his midsection is a little bit looser than Red's, but his legs seem a little bit better. So <laughs> it's just kind of a, a crapshoot. Something's going to be loose. You just don't know what it'll be. I think it's really just mold fatigue. Um, but hey, shouldn't be a problem for us anymore. But overall, if you're just displaying the figures, I think they look good. The paint applications are good. The weapons are nicely painted and detailed. You know, on a shelf, these guys are going to look good next to your in-space figures. If you have them, even alone, they would look good. Um, it is a bummer we're not getting the girls. You don't have the complete team. But if you were lucky enough to get silver and green, the convention exclusives, you could at least have a five-person team of red, blue, black, uh, silver, and green. Again, not the team on the show, but <laughs> at least you have five Psycho Rangers uh, just to kind of, you know, stand together. But... 
Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I'm super excited. We just had Toy Fair this past weekend, and we know what's coming with the Lightning Collection. They all look fantastic. So I'm certainly not going to miss uh, Bandai's figures, especially with their kind of mold problems towards the end. But these last few offerings, um, I think they look all right. I think they look good. Uh, really, like I said, the main disappointment is not getting the girls for the full team. But if you're just in the market for a couple of Psycho figures, these guys look good. The accessories look good. It's got all the articulation points you would want. Only thing I would complain about these figures is that some of the joints are loose. And again, I think that's mold fatigue. But overall, if you're in the market for some Psycho figures, I don't think you'll be disappointed by these. Um, I had heard some reports that some people were saying their abdomens were as loose as Draken. I've never seen any abdomens on any figures be as bad as Draken. <laughs> he was unfortunately a low point for that abdomen joint. Um, nothing before or since has been as loose as his abdomen was, and I, I don't really understand why that is. Uh, I don't know, maybe it's just some kind of manufacturing defect with him. But uh, yeah, some of the joints are a little bit loose, but not terrible. Overall, I think they look good. I'm just repeating myself at this point. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.